That's one of my favorite tracks of the bar six, and our guest is already seated, and it's a privilege to always introduce this gentleman. He's a friend and he's a family. Yes, he knows what I'm talking about. But anyways, our guest, um, at the 20, let me take my time, at the 2016 VGMAs, our guest was the biggest win on the night. He got five awards. He took all of them home. He got the coveted artist of the year. He got the Afro pop song of the year. He got best video, hip pop, hip live song of the year, and also producer of the year for Shelly Lee. No, 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 Shelly Lee. Yeah. He has so many songs to his credit. Yeah, but recently he's promoting a new EP and it's titled The Teacher. It's different from what EO normally does. But then he's in the studio. We'll talk a lot about a whole lot of things. And we'll just have fun on the table of life. Ladies and gentlemen, like just want to always say, let's introduce El Baby. That was so How are you? Oh, I miss Doing you. Well, man. I'm I miss you. Here. You miss yeah. me? Yes, I miss Why? you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> the, the, well, I, I remember the last time he came in. It, it has. Right, it was, yeah. was playlist. It was in all black leather. 2021. Leather ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you remember that? Yeah, what? 21. Yeah, 2021. 2021. Really? Yeah. So, That's when it was. Wow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, 2021. Yeah, yeah. And I think I saw you again. 20. That same year, 2021, um, back on set. Wow, time really yeah. flies, huh? Yeah. Poco yeah. Vanilla. Poco yeah. Vanilla, yeah, that's true. Doing your thing. That was doing the last thing. time. Yeah. It's yeah. good to see you. Good yes, to see you. How are you right. doing? I'm great. I'm happy to be here, man. It's uh, very nostalgic. Yes. Now yeah. you're on the table of life. Yeah, course. that's why I heard it's called. I heard it's called a table of life. <laughs> yeah, it's a table every of life. Every two days or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. yeah. love yeah. it. Love it. But, Thanks but for let's, having me. Let's start the, com- like the conversation mm. on what I was saying. I mean, 2016 was that big year for EO. Yeah. And over even before 2016, a lot was happening, and EO has been that big person. What are you most grateful for? Let me start with that. Most grateful for? Yeah, being in an industry for um, for a long time. I'm uh, just grateful for life, mm-hmm. um, the opportunity to do what I enjoy doing. Okay. Um, the opportunity to express myself when and where and how I want. You know, that's because yeah. most artists don't get opportunity. Exactly. They are They are told when and where to do, but yeah. I'm blessed to have a little more freedom yeah. than most. And in a period of reminiscing, looking back to so many things, which memories pop up? Is it the ones before 2016 or afterwards? Which is which? Um, memories? Yeah. Um, memories are spread. I, I don't have too many, like, standing memories. Like, mm. uh, I have memories of different times of my career, mm-hmm. um, the ups and the downs. But, I mean, obviously, you know, the good times always resonate with me. Yeah. And also the bad times. So um, I would say the best memories are when I've been able to accomplish things with my friends and family. Yeah. Yeah, those are the best memories. And from that period, from 2016 till now, there has been changes in the music industry and even yeah. the, in the, the music world at large. Yeah. There, there has been evolutions. Would you say EO has moved with the transition? the change that has come with it, or is something in between? Which is which? Which one? Have you been able to adapt, or there is something else that EOL is doing? No, I've always been a trendsetter. Mm-hmm. I've always been a, a trend breaker, and I've never followed trends that much. I, I learned about style a long time ago, about personal style, a long time ago from my father. And he said something which really resonated with me when I was a child. And mm-hmm. since then, I've always been somebody who doesn't really do things like everybody else. When I yeah. see people doing one thing, I want to see what, 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 what else we can do to balance it out. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've, I've done well in that regard because um, when I was doing one thing, other people were doing something else. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's, that's something I like to pride myself on. Myself on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Finally, yeah. before this one and Helen comes in, you have a particular niche of people, like particular fans. Yeah. How have you been able to sustain them over the years? I say this because when you go for any of the bar concerts, that's when you see the LMA double yeah. organic yeah. fans, the followers. Yeah. And these are fans who are not just standing, just watching EO. They are singing songs back to back to back, whether it's the um, rap songs or normal songs that you can just dance with how have you been able to sustain people like that till now i don't know i don't i don't go out of my way to sustain them at all i guess we have this unspoken connection Mm -hmm. 
you know, there's always people out there who will identify with you and when they hear you, they can say, this is something that resonates with me. And yeah. they, they can almost say, he's talking about me. Okay. Or he or she can say that yeah. he's talking about my yeah. experiences. And so I make music for those types of people. True. And so I don't really have to do too much work to get in, in touch and in contact with them. Yeah. We we attract each other and that's what that's where the magic is. I have artists who I feel the same way about. And when I listen to their music, I feel like I'm the only one who understands what this guy is going yeah, through. And, you know, true. so that's why I try and that's a connection I try and have with my fans. fans. So it's, it's a wireless connection. It's true. <laughs> Everywhere we <laughs> day, we connect. Yeah. Wireless connection. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's throw it back. Right. Right. And I don't be looking at me like that. I'll be thinking about my question. What to, what to, <laughs> what to ask. Callum. But um, so throw it back to when I was really young, you know, right. it, 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 it was you, 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 you were surrounded by a group of young artists, right? Yeah. So from Skillions to Gemini, Stago, yeah, yeah. Um, the kind of music that you used to make back then and now, mm -hmm. what is the difference? Has anything changed from them? Because I feel back then it was more, like there was a lot of softness. I, I did like, boys, boys, final kind of, yeah, yeah. Has, has it changed? No, it hasn't changed. Um, I used to make that kind of music all the time, mm. but fans might not get to hear it for one reason or the other. Okay. As much as, you know, back then, mm. because of different reasons. You know, time time goes on, things change, we grow, and some of the boys also go away, also start yeah. their things, they yeah. start families, and life goes on, you know. Yeah. But for me, it's uh, something that I've always enjoyed doing. So it's in the blood. It's something that I, I do constantly. Today, I was actually compiling a couple of songs for you know for release we're about to drop back to back to back to back me and my uh my team so i was just listening to some of the songs that we have and i was like this is reminiscent of you know that sound you're talking about the boys boys type mm. of, so it's still there um it's just a matter of us deciding and strategizing on how to drop that type of sound again but what did, what did you learn positively working around a lot of you know talented folks like that you know, the positive bit. I don't know oh, if there will be a negative I, bit. I stole a lot of the ideas. <laughs> I stole a lot of ide ideas from my friends. You know, when, when you are talking and you are sitting down at a table and we are drinking and we are just, you know, messing around, people say a lot of things. Mm. And I'm the guy who, if somebody says something funny, and then I go right down put my phone top, you know, and then I put it in a song because that's the vibe that attracts everybody when they listen to it. They're like, ah, I don't believe he said that. But it's mm. might not necessarily Ia who said it. Maybe it was... One of my boys who said it and I mm. are getting to also. Okay. So yeah. it's the culture of camaraderie. It's mm -hmm. the culture of us coming together and sitting down and drinking and seeing stuff. Yeah. And that's what you hear on the music. So it's still there. I'm, I'm tempted to ask, who was the most talented? Who was the guy that every time that you had around you, like your creative stuff just rises like that? Oh, I don't want to mention any names to make them big headed. Make them come up for that. <laughs> I think I know one. Make them come up Who? for that. I know one. Who? He's been here before. Who's that? Who's you that? should guess. Who? Two letters. Just like E L, there's another person. L? Oh. L? Oh. No, no, no. Back in the L, there wasn't that. Uh, Who? AEC. Oh, AI. AI. Yeah, AI, AI yeah. had some good vibes yes. too. But I, I think yeah. I liked you, Stargo. Right. Serial. Had a lot of chemistry. I had a lot of songs yeah. that, like, I personally loved. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I feel like anytime you three were were on a jam yeah. together, maybe sometimes Gem and I also, yeah, yeah. like, it sounded different yeah. than all the others. Yeah, it is. You would agree? It is. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's just a boys, boys vibe. Mm. You know, everybody has their background and their stories yeah. and the funny things and their nuances and things that they say. So that all for me, I I, I put all of that into, into the music, and that's where it comes from. Mm. Interesting, you know. Uh, earlier when I was talking about one of your raps, I said, "Oh, I like that one really." I remember you saying that this be the number I detect for life. <laughs> and they keep girl where they look alright. All right, and yeah. I'm now wondering, was that a vibe you got from your friends, like you're saying, or what really inform your style of rap? It's a it's it's a, it's a language. I think I think one of the most valuable things that we have as Ghanaians is the, the the pigeon language that we speak mm. and how we express ourselves. Okay. You know, when we say the only ones in the world who say uh, you the bab. Or Charlie Ego Sauce. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. You don't even know where it comes yeah. from. Yeah. But it's yeah. just yeah. such a fun way to it speak. It just happens. Yeah. yeah, it's just a fun way to speak. And and when you put that in music, it sounds so good. Especially yeah. when you put it in Azonto music or Ga um, Ghanaian hip hop music. It just rolls up the tongue. Mm. 
Right. You know, that'd be the number they take ball life. Nobody says that in the yeah. world. So I think it resonates a lot with um, our local people, and that's what makes it so so great. Okay. But I want to know, sometimes I wonder, is music as a craft in itself not sellable enough? Why do we go for public stance? For what? Public stance. Stunts? Right. Uh, I think I know where you're going with this one. <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, people do stuff in the industry all the time that might not be uh, reflective of, of the truth, okay. I guess. But that's the business that we're in. It's mostly smoke and mirrors. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that fans don't know that. It's mm. mostly smoke and mirrors. Okay. Like most of the stuff that artists say, you, how are you able to decipher between when he's being in, when he's in character right. and when he's being a real person? Mm. You know, that line, how do you decide whether it's actually there? So, right. I mean, artists do a lot of things. We inflate our numbers to make people think that we're actually more successful than we actually are. Right. We, um, we wear certain things to make people think that we actually got it like that when maybe we don't. You know, so it's the stunts there. They are always going to be stunts. Interesting. But how far can you go with stunts? It depends on who you are as a person. Mm. <laughs> Some people can stunt their whole life away. You know, and, yeah. and not feel any type of difference. You know, and some people they have to uh, be very measured um, about it. I remember long time ago, um, 2013, 2012, I pulled a stunt. Okay. I pulled a huge stunt on right. the whole industry, and nobody knew it. Yeah. But it it trended. It it went what, what viral. Is that? What was that I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it. Go and do your research. That thing, that thing in 2013, that thing in 2012 that we did, it was a huge publicity stunt. Mm. And it happens. Managerial, I mean, managers and teams decide to come up with these things just to boost stuff. Mm. So that's the business we're in. We're in show business. And, that's and it's unfortunate happened. we are unable to dissect, like you're saying, whether this is really a public stunt or yeah. this is something that is real. Yeah, but I think, I think, I think in the back of the 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 fans the fans mind right. they know yeah mm. they know that idea you know he's just doing it together yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. but they just they play along because right. that is the game yeah. that's being played so okay uh, nana so he all led a certain um, movement I say the Azonto period yeah. I mean you're one of the forerunners right. yeah. um, during during that period yeah. did we feel Azonto I think we did in a certain kind of way, but I don't think we intentionally um, did. I think you only know what you have until it's gone. Exactly. And then you realize that, oh, man, that was a great time. That was a really mm -hmm. good time. So we make mistakes. I'm, I'm also part of the, I'm also culpable for it. But it's, it's not an irreparable situation. It's yeah. something that we can always um, pick up and, and hold, in, hold in high esteem. I pride myself in being able to to go back and pick up my zone to cap, put it back on, and say I'm repping for zone to, I'm, I'm representing for zone to music, and that's what I'm doing actively. So, I, I've forgiven myself for it. I hope all Ghanaians <laughs> can do so as well. But, but on the back of that, what, what's your general thought on this new genre? That's Ghanaian drill. Ghanaian drill. Yes. I think <clears throat> with every kind of hip hop that arises or comes over from the West, we are going to adopt it mm -hmm. and do our version of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it started as back as I can remember. The first one, I think, was crunk music. Yeah. You know, yeah, the dun, 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 dun. I remember yeah, I did yeah. that, that with my friends. Yeah. I'm from DC. Mm -hmm. I'm from, from DC. You know, that was crunk music. And then it turned into yeah. whatever it was. Something else came and then drill also came. But we're always going to follow that hip hop trend because hip hop, no matter what anybody might say, it's not from here. It's from yeah. it's from the West. West yeah. So yeah. when we do hip hop music, we're always going to adopt to what's going on over there. So Ghanaian drill. But the thing about Ghanaian drill is also that it has it has a lot more common with our local sound, our mm -hmm. Adua sound, mm -hmm. than any other type of hip hop that's mm. ever come up. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does kick, 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 kick. So we, we actually write it a lot better than any other type of hip hop that's come up. Yeah. So, far. Yeah. so I like it. But, yeah. but do you believe people are saying that it's a modification of hip life? Yes. You agree to that? Very close modification. Okay. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It has a lot, mm -hmm. to, a lot mm -hmm. more in to our local sound. Mm -hmm. To our local yeah. sound. So that's why I really mess with it. I, I think that, um, I mean, look at what the um, Asaka boys are doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like we are, we are performing at, um, our local mm -hmm. uh, sound 
on hip hop beats, mm. and, yeah. and they are doing well. They're doing well with it. Can, can we? <laughs> can it be a deliberate agenda amongst artists to make sure that we do to Ghanaian drill what we didn't do to hip life? Mm. When I say that, I mean the likes of yourself, Joy B, Papi mm. Kojo, um, Little Shika. Mm. Um, there's another person I've forgotten the name. Your 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 set. Mm -hmm. You are able to play with the sound mm -hmm. in a way to fit everything. Yeah. Now that we are more like vibing to this Ghanaian drill, mm -hmm. and it's being recognized mm -hmm. at the Grammys, mm -hmm. the likes of yourself. What 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 are you going to do? Are you going to take the mantle upon yourself to make sure that at least it, it sticks, or we we do something about this one? No, no. No, it's 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 gonna change eventually, and it's going mm -hmm. to be something. It's going to become something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, personally, I don't think drill is a type. It's, it's a music genre that's going to last for too long. Okay. Because hip hop is evolutionary; it yeah. evolves. The next type of hip hop will come along. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it's going to be called. Yeah. But it is going to come along, and mm -hmm. we're going to adapt to that type of hip hop. Yeah. The the, the umbrella is hip hop music, mm -hmm. and hip hop is is a is a, is a cycle. It goes and it comes. It goes, it goes changing. And it, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bipolar. So yeah. it's going to be something else <laughs> yeah. in the next couple of months. And then we're going to adapt to that as yeah. well. So if if I am to stick to championing Ghanaian drill, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's... It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Yeah. But that being said, El, doesn't it seem like there's a there's bit of an identity problem with Ghana? Yeah. There's always like the recycling of like the yeah, genres. The there's some spoke can, about yeah. Azonto. Mm. And it's like we are having a problem yeah. and we can't really choose which one we are, we are sticking to. We are sticking to. Yeah. Isn't that a problem? Yeah, but why don't you stick to one type of music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of types. Why would you want to stick to mm. one type yeah, of Yeah, but there are plenty of types. But now how the, the music scene has changed, mm -hmm. um, the... In Africa alone, I on this table, whenever we mention their names, it becomes a problem on YouTube and they bash us, but I'm going to mention it. The Nigerians are always into whatever is being sold mm. to them and they champion it. Hey, we move as a collective to support. But as Ghana, when we are trying to champion this one, yeah. it's like it, it just moves from the, our hand like a sun yeah. and then we hold on to something yeah. and the back and forth is too much. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it push us back? Yeah, I mean... That's Ghana. And how, how, how does it affect the artists? <laughs> that's, 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 that's Ghanaians. I mean, mm. we have to come up with our own... The thing is your identity. What is your identity? What are you bringing to the table? What mm -hmm. do you represent? Yes. That is the question. Yeah. What do we represent? If, we, if I meet somebody in the States right now and, and I say, oh, yeah, from Ghana, um, what's your sound? What's, what's, what do you guys represent? Mm -hmm. We should be able to say something mm -hmm. that yeah. we are the guys who brought this sound. Yes. We'll be like, oh, yeah, you are the guys who... Sound like this. So in this we case, can't what say, we can't in this say case, Afrobeats. what would you say? We can't say Afrobeats. Afrobeats doesn't belong to us. Yes. So in this case, what would you say? In this case, what would you say? Ah, it's Charlie. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's in the air. Say high life, but they are running We can say high life, life but right? nobody really in the, in, in the West knows mm. high life like that. To okay. Be honest. Yeah. okay. Unless we champion it and we try and put it up on that pedestal and yeah. we try and make it as, as big as Afrobeats. Mm -hmm. you can't, I, I can't really see a stranger on the streets of... New York and say, yeah, we, we are the ones who are championing mm. high life music. Some people might, but it's not as big as we would like it to be. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's so it means as a people, we don't even have an identity. To we don't have with. an agenda. Mm. We don't have mm. um, our own sound that we are championing to the rest of the world. Yeah. It could be hip life. It could be high life. For me, I hope it becomes a zone to music. Uh, but I don't think it's ever going to be Afrobeats music. Mm. Wow. Yeah. One of the one of the nicest moments that we all enjoyed during COVID right. was um the what's that thing called? <laughs> oh versus Oh, this thing that I was in Takada, I remember mm. I remember that. I, we were following on, on Instagram mm -hmm. yeah. where a producer versus a producer, artist versus, versus artist. artist. Right. What's it called? The versus challenge or something like that. I don't I'm know, but sure, I know I'm it's sure. just the verses right. that I. Oh yeah, we did, we, did, we did something like that mm. on in Instagram. On Instagram, huh? Yes, I on see. Instagram, where okay. I think appear to use versus Kwa, oh, and yeah. they play all With the hit songs, and, and, uh, and, and all that. Yeah. Okay. If you if you were to battle anybody, <laughs> hit songs, who yeah. would it be? Battle anybody, hit songs. Hit hit songs. Wow. Um, I don't think anybody. <sighs> no. Who said? 
Yeah, I'll choose for you. Choose for me. Choose for me. <laughs> no, you should. So I, I want to answer choose. First. Give me. Yeah. No, you should. You should answer. You 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 should go. No, for because because I'll I'll have to battle a group of people. Yeah. Are we picking it from album to album, yeah, project no. to project? Oh no, songs. Or hit songs just, to hit songs. Yeah, hit are we songs. talking about songs? Yeah, yeah. song that yeah. when you play, the whole everybody knows that this is a hit yeah, song. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, I produced for I, I produced for a bunch of people. So mm. Oh, okay, so the production bit. The production. Yeah. That's I'm going to have to battle a yeah. group of people. Yeah. It's going to have to be a group of people yeah. against mm-hmm. EL. That's the thing. Uh, because the songs that I produce for people mm. self did there, then my gospel yeah. songs did there, then my hip-hop songs did mm. there, then my uh, my gospel songs did yeah. there. <laughs> then it's me against me there, it's yeah, yeah, it's a, a lot of people. Of people. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in all of this, I'm asking this because it got to a time where Okay, we, 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 we didn't hear of EO like that. Even when you won the VJMA award, uh, some people were like, ah, oh, you didn't deserve it, and, yeah. and all that. Did it, did it get to you in a way? Do, do people, do these comments make you feel like, ah, but these people, I thought I'd done a lot of things mm-hmm. for yeah. them. I bet Jesus saved them, kill them. <laughs> Jesus saved them, kill them. Peter <laughs> even denied it. Yeah, Peter <laughs> even denied So, right. I mean, there's always going to be people. It did, it, did, it, did, it did get to me a lot. I remember um, when, at the peak of that whole thing when people were going on to radio and saying this, I had gone to pay, and Mr. Sappho was They really said that? Bunch. Yeah, people said I went to pay for the award and wow. stuff, you know, after all the work we did. <laughs> and I remember it just got to me because it was very new to me. I just wanted everybody to love me for the music that I did, but I came to realize mm-hmm. that that's not the situation yeah. at all. People are always going to be against you. People are going to hate you for one reason or the other. Uh, especially people who don't know you and mm. they've heard something about you. So I'm in Lady Rush, you know. So I actually remember I parked in uh, around East Lagos someplace and I sat in my car and I just started, you know, shedding tears about oh. this whole, the whole thing because I was like, ah, what I do? I I just make music. People happen to like the music. Yeah. I've gotten awards for it, and now people are bashing me for it. So it got to me, but at this point in time, it doesn't. Really, I don't. It doesn't. You know. You know yeah, the touch you said. Know, that, no. I remember that particular year very yeah. well. I don't know if because I'm an EO fan, mm-hmm. I I tend to take things personal. Because yeah. that year, the only person that was battling that I. When I was seated home and I was writing, yeah. maybe Eo had four. As soon as he had four, yeah. was yeah. Bisa Kede right. yes. with Brad Day, Brad Day, and yeah. Mansa. Yeah. yeah, and that was the only one. Which, which he, he sat in that I seat. I sat and I told him Bisa that. Bisa Kede sat in that I was like, <laughs> that award yeah, he should have won. He yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it mean. was only that, and Eo had put the work. I think the yeah. only thing that Eo didn't get, and it when it was the album of the year, mm. yeah. I think Bisa got that particular mm. one, but. Yeah. Oh, all of them, Eo yeah. had an... And that year, you worked. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You worked. You see, so he clearly after, deserved... Yeah, yeah after, after all bad. the bashing, that's yeah. part of the thing that would deserve you. Like, oh, these people say, Charlie, and say, I will pay for it. Okay, mm. you know, take your award, Charlie. Take your award. It all adds to the <laughs> yeah. pressure of... Yeah, know, because indeed, I mean, interest. after um, that award, and you know, we didn't hear so much of you, yeah. and or, and then yeah. we are wondering that, oh, after an award, we expect to see more instead, yeah, but yeah. it seemed that wasn't the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all part of it. Mm. Like, it was, for me, it was... A little climax, and then there was a lot of anti-climax. Mm, like, right. Charlie, what's all this? Charlie, yeah. You know? yeah. I swear, and you have put my head down on campus yeah. for you. Yeah. Hey, people butchered you. Yeah. Like, people you. butchered you. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I yeah. defend. Because clearly, yeah. like, because at the time he had a lot of hit songs, songs yeah. that people were jamming to. It was yeah. clear that he did great. So yeah. why would people now Hold come? Yeah. And even and, and after that year, 2017, right. you had mm. five nominations, but right. you picked only one. Yeah. yeah. With I think it was Lala Falama with Afro. Hip hop no, song, song or yeah. sang, yeah. 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 Then 2018, year of 20, yeah. 2018, year of, I think 19. 2019, that's when you had like extra three nomination, rapper of the year. Yeah, There's feel, a song with you with Fouls. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the detachment had to do with the conversations mm. that had gone on or the comments well, not, from not 2016. Not all of it, but it did play a big role. Okay. Right. And my, like I said, I, I tend to say more and more, my personality is like, if I do something for a while, I mm-hmm. get really tired of it, mm-hmm. and then I let it go and I find something else to do. Yeah. So I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. When it comes to music, I do my own music yeah. videos. Yeah, I edit like most of my music videos. Me now yeah. I edit them, yeah. but I know make people know say me mm-hmm. me oh. we me we I edit them. We yeah. I color grade them. We I do the adverts oh, yeah, for my. Yeah. I do the adverts for my own shows. Yeah, the, the adverts there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do it all, yeah. but I know I'll make people. So if I learn this one, uh, then I won't go learn something mm-hmm. else. I won't learn something else. So I, 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 I want to spend a day with you to know your creative process because yeah. you make beats, yeah. and it got to a time in this country that, as we've done arguments with Mugis as the most um, featured artist on hooks, yeah. mm. 
you were in there, and then you also have to do your own songs. Yeah. How do you go through all of that? Producing for people, producing for yourself, featured on people's songs, make sure that it's a hit song, and you yourself also have to produce your song or for sing your, your yeah. song for it to be a hit song. It ain't no hard. It's not mm. hard. It's, it's, once you do it for a while, it's not hard to make a, to make a hit song. It's not hard. Anybody can come to the studio and get a hit song. It's not a hard thing. After, after you get your hit song and you like it and we are dancing to it in the studio, you start thinking about how you're going to make everybody else Dance yeah, react yeah, the same well. way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The song can be good. We, we hear, we can hear it and be like, oh, the song is nice. Yeah. But put for streets, that'd be the problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see? And so hit songs are not necessarily good songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Hit songs sure. are songs that have, been, have had the work put behind them and had that distribution and they've been spread wide. That's when it becomes a hit song. So, but you don't get confused because mm. me, like if I were to be an artist, then I, me now, I know that this verse, like, they can't give this person, yeah. that verse be fire away. I need to put it on my own song. Mm-hmm. That one, yeah, we they do. We they keep verses. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, keep, we, keep, we, we keep some of the good beats and the good verses yeah. sometimes. But would so. you ever quit music? No, I never. I, 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 uh, I tend to step away from all the attention because I'm not... I'm not doing it predominantly for attention. I do it because I love making music. Yeah. I'm, I'm the guy in the studio at 2, 3 a.m. just dancing, sweating in the studio because I enjoy making music. So the, the product of that is people come and they were like, let's sell this music, and that's where the business comes in. I do all of this. But I'm never going to stop making the music. Um, I'm, my once in a while take a short break for my own help um, from all the, all the noise. And what mood actually helps you to express your artistic thoughts very well? What mood? Yeah. <laughs> it, I don't it say what inspires you, know. Yeah, I want yeah, to that get, question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's like, I, I just what want mood? to know, yeah. uh, it, it can be different moods. I mean, um, uh, when I wrote Joy, uh, I was in a very somber mood. I was mm. actually a little down. And oh, no. Joy, I wrote it with my mother. You see, so Joy, my mom sent some of the lyrics to me and I wrote the rest. I remember I had parked in front of my gym. I didn't go to the gym that day, just parked in front and she sent me the lyrics. And I was just in the car, feeling feeling very, very down. But that's how the song came about. Mm-hmm. Um, a song like... Nina. Um, Tell me about Nina. Nina. <laughs> Nina, dear, I wrote it, I wrote it <laughs> deep, deep in, uh, in a brie, in somewhere in a brie. I had a mm-hmm. place out there and... You know, my girlfriend was around and she was watching TV. I was walking around the house in my boxer shorts, just going back and forth from the studio in my home. And I remember as soon as I finished writing Nina, I went to, and looked at her face and she was like, what, what's wrong? I said, Charlie, it's on song we do I do right now. He said, why are you screaming there like that? Like some girl. I was like, yeah, you go here. <laughs> you know? Because then Nina, I switched, I switched my voice and stuff. Yeah. So it was a little weird recording it. But it's different vibes, different strokes for different types of mm-hmm. um, sounds that I like to experiment with. Okay. What song would you choose as mm. your nicest? Like, and you might tell to me, no, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Like, I am good. Uh, probably, I, 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 I got that you are him feeling when I did Minabopo. Uh, I remember I was at the studio here, um, Ring Road, BBNZ upstairs. And it was just me, it was early in the morning, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning, and it was just me and my little puppy and my little dog, Salasi, small toy dog. I want to wait to catch the girls those times. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Small little toy dog. <laughs> and she was walking around the studio, and I remember I was just vibing and we were just having fun, and I just realized that, wow, Charlie, I really love doing this stuff, man. From doing the Mina Bopo beats, and I went in there and I sang the chorus, and I said, make her write some rap. So it was a rap, it was uh, singing, it was the beats. It was just, I was like, wow, I was born to do this stuff, man. And that was one of the days. But what is the magic wand, really, for you to, most of your song, the hooks, uh, when you have the hooks yeah. now, uh, and you are able to get it as, as a hit, what's, what's the magic, yeah. really? And then even with beat making, like you said, producing, you are able to do that effortlessly, and it's good. Yeah. What's really the magic wind for the magic, you? The, the magic, yeah, you can't really tell. The magic mm-hmm. can come from different places. Um, some people like the beat, some people like the hook, some people like the flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... The hook is very important because right. that's what people remember. That's yeah. why they call it the hook because yeah. that's what yeah. gets you. Yeah. You know, that's what really, really, really hooks you in. So hooks are very important to me. You can write the best song, but if you don't have a great chorus yeah. to carry it across, you might you might run into a little trouble. 
Yeah. Okay, so we are going for a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll talk about the new project, the new EP that is titled The Teacher. Some of us have favorites on it. Yeah, I know Yawa's one is the first one. Mine, I will go for Chop Live. I mean, we need Soft Live. But then when we come back, we'll talk about uh, sober and other things and the creating process. And most importantly, I have a problem with EO, with this project. You, when we come back, I'll tell you all about that. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. And that was the teacher, the visualizer for the whole EP. And the problem that I have with EO is the fact that, I mean, I don't know how you guys get to upload your songs on Apple Music, but you put like hip hop rap, you put worldwide, you put, um, let's say, gospel and other things. Why did you write alternative? Because there's no. There's no uh, category for Azondo. Oh, Azondo. I thought, ah. I thought so maybe you would have chosen Worldwide. Uh, Honestly, I thought you would have gone for Worldwide. I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think at the time I identified it more with alter. alternative. Okay. Yeah, because if I put it in the world, worldwide, it's yeah. going to be a little difficult for people to mix it in with their... I don't want it to get mixed in with Afrobeats. Okay, mm. yeah. okay. 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 I, 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 my, my movement is just to eventually have our own genre. Okay. Azonto That's music. That's Azonto. Yeah, so, so then we just go chalk on our own for the for okay. one side and keep it apart from everybody else's world, world, world stuff. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's the only problem I had because that's what I realized. I was like, how is this Alter? Yeah. Because yeah. I listened to it back to back to it back. It could be Alter yeah. as, as yeah. well. It could be Alter. For me, it's, it's just a coin flip. Oh, okay. yeah. okay. I, 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 not accidentally, but like I did listen albums over the weekend and yeah. it got to yours and I listened to all of that because okay. they say I've got to listen to all that. Yeah. What do they try? What are you trying to seek? Uh, what are you trying to um, achieve with this? And the name, the teacher, who did they teach? Yeah. The teacher came from JSO, uh, our, our label head. Oh, uh, okay. our own JSO. Our very own JSO. Yeah. 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 Adenta JSO. Yes. Adenta JSO. Let them know oh. that. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for, you, for said you, I'm coming. you know, they said in Adenta from Adenta coming to Yarifa, we don't have superstars. Oh, no. But then some one. people are always uh, blaming me. Oh, why? You know, today when Adenta guy can you see the whole it's always been turned back to back to back. They are saying Westland is Jesus still in Adenta. That's why I said, oh, yeah. Oh. Jesus's daddy's house is in Adenta. Yeah, and yeah. I, L knows. Jesus grew, grew up, said, grew up in Adenta. A, yeah. yeah. Adenta boys represent. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. So he gave it the name. What? Oh, yeah. but no, 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 no. Kept the topic, they stay identified. Yeah. Okay, I know him. Uh, uh, who again? So many people. <laughs> yeah. ask you, know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole Skillion squad. Adenta. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Skillion grew up in Adenta. You so see? Adenta <laughs> has Little Shaken, everybody. Little Shaken, all the boys. Joey, me. It's okay, it's okay. Where, where, where? Tema. Tema for no. Tema, I'll be Tema. It's a big place. Tema is huge. The one, one community, this community. It's like Nigeria and Ghana. It's like Nigeria and Ghana. It's another country. It's another country. So but he gave the name. The he came up with the name because okay. of um, the track one where I was teaching yes. the okay. lady how to um, okay. produce an Azonto oh. beat. So he, he was like, Chai, this one, we'll go call him the teacher. I was like, yes, I was. Yeah. So that's, he, he came up with the idea. That's, that's how it that's came about. That's very good. Mm. And which one is your baby, your favorite? It changes. My favorite right now has to be Huse, mm. produced by Kojo Steve. Yeah. But it could, change, it could change tomorrow. But right now, I'm really loving Huse. So check it out. Over the years, you've dropped projects. I mean, the rap ones and the normal commercial ones. And yeah. every time when you are working on projects like that, you tend to make sure you don't really repeat your mistakes or what you did here, you don't carry it here. What were some of the mistakes that were learned from the previous projects that you are hoping that you didn't add to this one in terms mm. of anything that yeah. we'll ever listen to? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I've become pretty good at putting <laughs> songs together, like collecting songs mm -hmm. for an album. Mm -hmm. And for this one, I didn't really think too 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 hard about it. Okay. My thing is, we take something come. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it it did really well. Mm -hmm. It put us on a certain trajectory, mm -hmm. and it achieved a lot worldwide. And yeah. so I don't want to be 80, 90 years old, okay. 100 years old, and then look back and then say, ask myself that, what did you do with that thing that you started, okay. that sound that came about? Yeah. What happened to it? So I, I'm just doing my responsibility. I'm just. Um, just carrying on that torch. Yeah. And I want it to go as far as it can. I believe that 
Azonto music can can do great things yeah, for Ghanaian yeah. music because it's got elements, it's got cultural elements, it's got Kwan logo in there, it's got yeah. Asopo in there, it's got True. Jama in there. Yeah. So what else? What else do you need? Just and you can rap on it, you can sing on it. True. I mean, it's such a beautiful sound. So I'm gonna champion it and try and take it as far as possible. That's good. I mean, we, we are wrapping up. Um, will we get a bar concert this year? For sure. Oh, oh that's wow. all I wanted to hear. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to uh, come. Yeah. I'll be there. Hey. Be there. I'm hey. having a long break. Please do. Would you come? Yeah. Please Definitely. do. Oh, yeah. 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 But Elf, I know you're going on a media tour promoting yeah. this particular EP. Which yeah. other strategies are you employing to make sure that this EP is listened worldwide? It's, it's like on every airwaves. What yeah, we are. I mean, these days it's all about... It's not even about marketing that mm -hmm. much. It's about content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about just being being consistent mm -hmm. with the content that you put out to make sure that people you're you're drawing more and more people into the idea, into the concept, and uh, just creating awareness about it. So that's what I'm doing. We're about to drop more content. You've, yeah. you've heard the music, you've heard the small controversies that came True. up with. True. The interviews, <laughs> you've seen a little of the the videos. Yeah. But more videos coming out. Okay. Just just keep pushing it. Sure. Yeah, and then we're also going to be doing some more features and remixes as well. So that's, let's that's, see how that goes. Good. I mean, oh, thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. I, it's, I think it was just a yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just yeah. love it. Yeah. Talking, yeah. Cool. You have so many questions to, you know, to... to yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we had... Some, we know what we do on this table. There are people who actually mm. go hard. Very oh, you hard. Should. You should. Oh, yeah, but today we just being... wanted to, like, uh, have a normal conversation. Thank you so yeah. much. It should it. it shouldn't always be, like, mm. ping, 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 ping. Ping, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. Yes, and cool. you have family on the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>